This video will demonstrate how to connect Orion pipe using thermal socket fusion. The video is not intended to replace published installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Please refer to the installation instructions for further information and product warnings. Consult local codes before beginning any work. Inspect the socket fusion tool for obvious signs of damage, especially the power cord and plug. Should the tool appear damaged, do not continue. Ensure the proper sized heads for your pipe and fittings, one male and one female, are attached. Mount the tool onto the stand provided or to a bench vise. Plug the tool in and allow it to heat up to fusion temperature, typically in about 20 minutes. Orion's socket fusion tools are thermostatically controlled and factory set. However, settings can vary due to factors such as weather, current variances, cord lengths, or types of power sources. These variables should be checked on site and if necessary compensated for by adjusting the tool thermostat control. Verify the temperature of the socket fusion tool using temple sticks. After plugging in the fusion tool, mark the outside of the female tool head. When the mark discolors and melts, the tool is ready for fusion. Note, cleaning the fitting and pipe ends of all dirt and debris is essential to creating a quality joint. Ensure all pipe ends and fittings are cleaned thoroughly with isopropyl alcohol before proceeding. Failure to do so could result in a leak. Clean the pipe and socket ends with 90% isopropyl alcohol to remove any dirt or debris. After cutting the pipe with a thin wheel plastic pipe cutter, deburr the cut end of the pipe. Add a beveled end using a beveling tool to minimize the amount of bead on the inside of the fitting socket once fused. Measure the depth of the fitting socket to be fused and subtract 1 16th of an inch. Transfer the fitting socket measurement to the end of the pipe to be fused. Mark the pipe so the measurement will be seen when inserting the pipe into the tool head. To make the fusion, push the fitting socket end onto the male tool head, applying firm, even pressure as the socket interior softens and progresses onto the head. Then insert the pipe end onto the female tool head, taking care not to push the pipe in past the mark made in the previous step. If the pipe is pushed in past the mark, it can result in a large obstructive bead forming in the bore of the joint. Keep both pipe and fitting perfectly straight on the tool as they're heating. Letting them sag downwards or pulling them towards you will deform the connecting surfaces, which can result in a poor fusion. Pipe and fitting are ready to be removed from the tool once a bead 1 32nd to 1 16th of an inch in diameter is visible all around the circumference of the pipe and around the circumference of the socket mouth. Checking for this bead while the components are heating will also indicate if they're being held straight on the tool. If the bead is of a uniform diameter all the way around, the component is properly aligned on the tool. If there's a thicker and thinner area on the bead, the component is out of alignment and must be straightened. Push away slightly from the thicker area of the bead towards the thinner area to realign. When a uniform bead is visible on both components, pull them both straight back from the tool, then immediately push the pipe straight into the fitting socket until the bead on the pipe meets the bead at the fitting socket mouth. Once inserted, hold the joint under slight pressure for 15 seconds to ensure the surfaces fuse. Do not twist the pipe onto the socket, and do not over-insert. Check to see the axial alignment is being maintained, and adjust only as necessary. The melted surfaces will begin to fuse within 5 to 7 seconds of being removed from the tool. Any attempts to straighten or otherwise alter the joint after this time will break the weld, resulting in a leak. Do not stress newly fused joints until fully cooled to ambient. Do not douse the cooling joints with cold water.